Hello everybody and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry and I'm in Fort Worth, Texas coming to you. Well, September is just around the corner and uh, that Dallas Pen Show is uh, just steaming up and getting ready to roll and uh, that's going to be my biggest event for the year. So, any of you viewers planning to go? To, uh, the Dallas Pin Show in September. Leave a shout there in the comments and uh, love to hear from you. This will be my second time for the Dallas Pin Show. And then this time I'm going to be looking at more of the vendors that are out there. I'm going to stop, of course, at Anderson's uh, table and then I will we'll go throughout the Pin Show and checking out. Uh, other things they have and uh, testing some other pens if they have testers available. Um, I know I want a new t-shirt. Maybe some uh, fountain pen buttons for my cap. But uh, I plan on having a great time out there. So this video is going to be on a video that I've done already on the Conklin all American. Okay. And I'm sure you can see that pretty much back here. Uh, and the reason why I have everything on the side, because if I have it this way, my camera's not going to pick it up just the further back. Anything closer to the camera, it won't. So, bear with me. Now, hear me out. Real brief on the pen. Because this is going to be actually a nib change. I've had some uh, viewers that were interested on how to change a nib out on the Conklin. Before I get into the Conklin pen, I'm going to get my ooze thing going here. Uh, this is a number six nib. Okay? Now, let me show you, to be clarified, what pins I'm using to have number six. There's other pins. Remember, if it's a number six nib, whatever pin you have should be able to hold that number six nib. And remember this. If you take out a nib or you mess around with that pin and it's under warranty, you're probably going to make that pin go out of warranty because uh, manufacturers are not going to fix something that you accidentally broke. So, remember, don't try it because you can ruin a warranty on your pin. And if you're not sure of what you're doing, send your pin off either to where they work on pins like uh, Montverde uh, or Conklin, you can send them to Yaffa or to uh, some pin monster that be able to work on pins. So, here, down here, I have all Jin Hao fountain pins. And this is how I started using number six. So, I am going to go over the nib size. And I'm going to leave it open it with the cap. And here we go. This is a Goulet number uh, six nib. And this is a medium nib. This is another 159 Jin Hao. And this has a 1.5. Anderson nib. Here is another 159 Jin Hao. And this uses a, well, what I have in it is a Goulet broad nib. 
Another Jin Hao 159. And this is a Knox nib, number six nib. And here is a Jin Hao for, let me see, make sure I'm right here. Is that a 450? Yes, Jin Hao 450. And this is a Goulet 1.5 nib. Another Jin Hao 450. And this is an Anderson Broad nib. Another time, another Jin Hao 450. Or it could be a 750. Let's see. I'm sorry, Jin Hao 750. 750. With a Knox nib, number six nib. And uh, one's uh, 1.1 and 1 1.5 Knox nibs. And uh, Jin Hao 750 with a Goulet fine nib. And a, another beautiful black Jin Hao 750 with a Anderson medium nib. So here we go. All those beautiful pins, beautiful nibs. What do they all have in common besides being Jin Hao? Well, they're all number six nibs. And while I'm at it, Cochran, number six nib, medium. All these have the same thing in common. Number six nib. They're all using number six nibs. Doesn't make no difference if they're Knox, Anderson, Goulet, or even Edison. Whatever not number six nibs is, going to fit these pins. Are you with me? Cool. So how am I doing out there, folks? Okay. I, I'm trying to help the newbies and people that were asking these questions get across that hump. So it's really important that I'm going to take my time, so don't get bored, to show you the steps on doing that. It's not that difficult. So anyway, they're all number six nips. And I do like all these nips. So, all German-made nips, except for Cochrane. The, the uh, Knox, Anderson, Goulet, all German-made nips. Bach, Jovo, whatever though, they're all number six nibs. Six! Got me. All right, now, since I've done this, I'm going to set these pins aside. Because I done showed you that part that was very important, at least as far as I'm concerned, to try to explain what pins take a number six. Now, not necessarily just the Jin Hao, Conklin's, Monteverde, whatever pins, I'm not going to go through the whole list. Use the number six. You can do this. You can take out those nibs and put them in other pins that use number six. But be careful. You don't want to ruin the nib or the feed. You don't want to destroy none of that. You just can't get in there and start yanking it out. And I am going to use the Anderson 1.1 1 .1 nib. Okay? So... 1.1, this is a two-tone number six nib. Very affordable, 15 bucks. I paid for it, no, so they didn't send it free. I, I bought it, so. And I, I did this just for those viewers that really wanted to know how to do that. So, I didn't forget you guys. So here we go. On this Conklin, well, let's go to the barrel. Oh, glory, it's called. And we're going to go into the guts of the fountain pen. And here is the converter. And what's good about these pens that uh, you can shake them all day long and they're not going to come out because these type of converters screw in, screw out. 
you just go ahead and unscrew it and you see the threads right there comes out okay go then same way just reverse the screws is in there but we're going to take it out and set this aside because I'm done with this for right now then I'm going to put this back in here you don't have to but that's how I do it when I change out a nib I can just leave it off but for the new people's sake I'm going to leave it on so here's the nib and it may take some kind of a grip to get a good hold on that nib it can be a rubber grip I have a good leg grip here which really works real well for me or you can use napkins or paper towels you know whatever suits your fancy sometimes you can use your fingers so when you do this you want to make sure that you're going to place one finger on top of that nib on top of your nib right here and then how I do it I get my thumb right underneath on the feed down here and put together and it pulls out okay so I'm going to use the grip and here's how I do this one I'm going to put it on top of each other just like this and if it won't pull straight out you're going to have to rock it back and forth but we're going to go ahead and pull tight but it comes right out and you're going to see little grooves in here how this section see the shape down here how it fits in here only goes one way boom so that's out I'm going to set this aside and take everything apart so now everything's apart and if you want to do a real good cleaning you can always do this as well but you know I, I wouldn't be doing this every time because the more you take uh, out of the grip the more chance to wear down the feed coming out at least that's what I was told I'm just passing you information that I was told when I got into the nib changing if you have a different story please share it but please be constructive all right so here is the Goulet nib I'm sorry the Anderson nib 1.1 Anderson nib these are some really good nibs I enjoy them I have a lot of fun with them and there's the nib and then there's the feed and the back tail end of that nib is right there make sure I'm seeing that okay so let's get this little jewel in the hole here it's kind of hard for me to see in the camera so bear with me as you see it going in And we're in so and there's my Carlton medium nib so now I'm going to undo the barrel and I'm going to put the guts back in it the converter remember screw it back in snug and it's tight you don't want to overdo it put your barrel back on put your cap back on and voila we're done with this section section of part one of inserting a new nib into a Conklin fountain pen so next step I'm going to fill it up with ink and then we're going to do a riding sample I'll be right back all right welcome back now I'm going to fill up the pen so again we'll take it from the top I'm going to unscrew the cap off unscrew the barrel 
So to the side. Now, I could put it in my vial like this and suck the ink up. But I'm going to do it different to show people, for those who ask, how to use a syringe and fill it. And Mr. Announcer, while I'm doing this, will give the name of this ink that uh, Mr. Jason sent me. This ink is J. Herbin Hematite. Okay, so I'm done putting that up. Maybe I should do, and here's a syringe. I'll put that back on. Looks kind of cool. And I'm going to stick it in there. Suck me up some ink. Unscrew it. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit on the converter. Get your needle. Stick it right in that little hole. And do it slowly. Don't do it fast because it's all going to come out everywhere. There's you a complete full fill. Excuse me. Then I'm going to prime the feet in a minute. Since I didn't uh, dip the nib in the ink, there's no ink on the feed. You see that? Nothing. Nothing at all. But there soon will be. All right. Well, I better prime the feed. I'm going to... Put a few drops back in. One, two, three, four. Don't make any difference how many drops you want to put in. I just did four drops because after I do the writing example. I'll probably leave it out and finish using the ink up. I won't put it back in the uh, vial again. So, let me see here for a minute. We got to go there. So far, so good. Now I'll get ready to do a writing sample. Let me set all these goodies aside. And let me grab some paper. We're going to be in business here. Okay. Pull out my Rhodia lined paper. Some people use dot grid. And I'm just using what I have available. And I'm going to come over here and use this bottom part. All right. Here we go. Let's see. How this 1.1 does. Actually, I already know because I've done them before, but it's time for some writing. Not any problems at all. Now, the nib worked well with the feed. Nice and wet. A few S's. And some blind variation. Got some nice broad strokes going down. Now we're going across the thinner lines. And some fast writing. Now 
Not a problem at all. Try witness. Should be nice and wet. Nice and wet. Nice and wet up there. See all that? Nice, juicy wet. That's what I like. That's how I like my nib. Wet. And Anderson nibs gives me that lovely wetness. Nice, nice nib. Writes real nice and smooth. I never had a problem with any of their nibs that I've bought. So, I hope this helps the new people in the fountain pen community and for people that are already in the fountain pen community that were wondering about this pen and just for people in general. Um... Uh, There's a, let's see, a friend of mine, Troy. How you doing, Troy, out there? Uh, he also is a reviewer on the YouTube channel. He sent me a 1.1 uh, nib that he had on his um, uh, 580, I believe, Twisby. And I put it on mine. And, uh, you know... I enjoyed that 1.1 just as much as I enjoyed this one. Uh, just a great nib. And uh, that's going to take care of it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment below. Uh, love to hear you think what your thoughts were about this 1.1 nib. If you have any other nib that you use with your fountain pens, you'd like to share your stories, feel free to do so. I appreciate everybody for uh, letting me in their home today and joining me with this nib change. And I hope this helps somebody out there. I know I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of work, at least for me it's a lot of work. To set up all this, to get everything torn down, go over step by step. But it's what, you know what, you guys are worth it. And that's why I did it. The viewers asked, and I delivered. If you ever ask for me to do something, I will tell you, if I can't do it, or if I don't have it, I can't do it. I'm not just going to put it off and avoid it. So, thanks very much, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for so supporting my channel. And we're getting close to that thousand mark for subscribers. So, with that said, it's time for me to go. Get things cleaned up here and get this show on the road. Peace. Love you guys. You guys are super great. You guys make the magic happen on Larry's Fountain Pens. Don't forget to join me on Facebook on Larry's Fountain Pen. Be safe. And please don't text and drive. Peace out there. Later.